Hey wonderful human beings and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Remy and I share lots of vegan content and tips to help you live well. And today we're gonna to be doing another what I eat in a day video, but it's gonna be very realistic. I'm gonna be exposing myself and showing you the difference between what I post on Instagram and what I really eat. I thought today would be the perfect day to film this video because I'm actually really running low on food right now in my fridge. I'm in the middle of a move. And as you may be able to tell from the back of my apartment, things are kind of a mess in my life in general right now. I'm also breaking out from from wearing a face mask in the summer. And I was like, you know what? This all really just adds to the vibe. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna show you everything that I eat um, in just a very realistic way. As you guys know, I'm a food blogger and this is what I do full time. So when I shoot recipes, I like to put them on the blog and knowing that they're gonna be there long term. I try to take really beautiful pictures, which means I style the food, I'm a little extra about it. That's just part of the job. But this week, I won't really be able to shoot anything because all of my props, my linens, my bowls, even just like my food processors and things like that are at the new apartment. I'll be very limited and I just thought it would be some good insight into real life because my food does not always look like this. It's not to say that Instagram isn't real life because I do eat all the things that I post, but it's more that I don't always go to that extreme level of styling on an everyday basis. And I feel like that's also really important to share with you guys. I used to do videos like this a while back and I haven't done one for a very long time. So I thought now would be the perfect time. All right, so for breakfast, I'm gonna have this Almond Joy smoothie bowl. I actually made this recipe probably over a week ago and I shot it and shoved it in the freezer because at the time of making it, I really wasn't that hungry. And as much as I try and eat things right after after shooting them. Sometimes it's not possible because it isn't always aligned with my meal time or I just don't have the appetite. So what I did was throw it in the freezer and save it for a day like today. And this is what I'll be having for breakfast. Here's what it's supposed to look like or would look like on Instagram. And here's what it really looks like. It's an Almond Joy smoothie bowl. The recipe's on the blog and I'll link it in the description box. As you can see, I dipped it a little bit just to make sure that it tasted the way that I wanted it and popped it in the freezer and this is what we got. I mean, this is actually a really good way to save smoothie bowls. You could even store them with all the toppings on top and I mean, it's pretty intact, right? So I'm gonna wait for this to thaw a little bit and then that will be breakfast today. <laughs> I almost forgot to film this before I ate it all, so I'm almost done here, but I let it melt a little bit until it becomes a little bit frosty, but definitely edible, where it's not gonna like crack your tooth or anything, and it's kinda like an ice cream. This does not look good at all, but that's the point of today's video, right? Because the truth is, this tastes just as good as it did yesterday. Um, <laughs> so there you go. I don't know what to do with my hair these days. I really need a haircut badly. My hair just grows really thick and really long. <laughs> I just have a lot of hair, which isn't always an advantage in a hot, humid summer in New York City. Anyways, I am ready for lunch and I wanted to show you guys what I'm having because I've decided to make a pizza. So I'm using the Simple Mills almond flour pizza crust. Actually, we're using the bread mix because I accidentally packed up the pizza mix, but they're about the same. So I'm just gonna go with this bread mix. And what I'm doing is just putting marinara sauce on it and then adding zucchini and this delicious tofu ricotta that I made the other day. This was from another recipe, my zucchini ricotta ravioli, which I think I posted a YouTube video for. But if not, I have a recipe in the description box below. It's just the best ricotta and you end up with leftovers. You could also make more more zucchini ravioli or just use it for something else. So I'm just gonna throw it on top of my pizza. And I thought I was gonna take a picture of this, but it's kind of a rainy day. So this happens sometimes where I just scratch an idea or I just wait to shoot it another day because the weather isn't good. I'm having this unstyled pizza. I'm not really gonna post this anywhere. It's not really even much of a recipe because I'm using a box mix. It is really nice as a food blogger to enjoy a meal solely for the purpose of eating it. And that may sound really stupid, but I really try not to waste any food. So what I find is that if I'm able to line up a meal that I'm recipe testing with an actual meal time, like let's say I'm making a pizza and I want to style it for the blog, I might make it in the morning so that after I get the shots done, I can eat it for lunch. Um, yes, I eat a lot of cold food and yes, I end up with a lot of leftovers that I usually share with friends and neighbors, but honestly, a lot of it just goes in the freezer and it's great for days like this when I just don't have the time or the equipment to cook. That's what I had, just a really simple pizza, and it did not disappoint. I did end up taking an Instagram story video, but if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I post like 100 stories a day, so that didn't really feel like work to me at all. I'm gonna head to dinner now, and we're gonna go to Lekka Burger, which is one of my favorite vegan burger restaurants. They do have gluten-free options, and I love the patties because they're not like 
beyond meat. You know, they're like made from plants. Mm -hmm. I guess beyond meat is too, right? Yeah, but, but they're like, like not as processed. Yeah, right. They're like not as processed. They're really, really good. Um, and they have gluten-free options. So that's what I'm gonna get for dinner. And I love that I'm eating out because I don't have to cook. And I have limited tools in the kitchen right now. And we're gonna meet our friend Meg. I haven't seen her for, gosh, I haven't seen her for probably like four months at this point. So I'm super excited to see her. And I'll show you the burgers when we get there. Here's Meg's burger. Broccolini Caesar. And the cheeseburger. We got here and, and here's mine. <laughs> oh. This is my sad burger because I have to get a lettuce wrap because I can't eat gluten. Um, but it's freaking delicious. It's so good. The cheese sauce is everything. And Lekka burger is really, really good. So highly recommend. No thanks too. Yeah. It's not about what it looks like. Are you it's about one? what's inside. Mm, I got her the peace food here. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. We devoured it. So good. I miss peace food. I give you mask, mask kisses. Mwah. Hello, sir. Hey. Okay, guys. <laughs> oh, I do do. <laughs> so I just had one of my first outdoor dining experiences. I had gone to one other vegan spot before just to take photos outside, and it was like one of those weird days where it was hailing, thunderstorming, pouring, and then it would be super sunny for a while, and then rain again. So nobody was actually sitting outside. I feel like it doesn't really count because we just took photos there, and we were the only ones there. But today, I went to Lekka Burger, and it was so good. I actually tried to order from them during like the beginning months of quarantine because I wanted to support them and order in, but they weren't open even for delivery, so I was so excited that they're open again. Honestly, some of the best burgers in the city. Highly, highly recommend. I have mixed feelings about outdoor dining. I feel like it's not something that I see myself needing to do very often. And as you guys probably know, I really don't eat out that often as is because I'm a food blogger and I cook at home all the time. But it was really nice to see my friend Meg and she lives in that area. So it was like a great place that we could meet outside safely. And of course we were safe, um, wore masks the whole time and it's like a pickup situation. So you're not interacting with a waiter or anything like that. Just wanna put that out there. I think safety is really, really important. I always wanna promote being safe and doing the right thing. But all that aside, I am a little bit munchy. I had a little bit of oat milk soft serve there, which also is amazing. You have to get the oat milk soft serve with the tahini crumble topping, or the halva. Oh my god, it's divine. Um, I might have a little snack of something, and that's kind of gonna be it for the day. As you guys saw, my burger was very ugly, <laughs> but sometimes when you get gluten-free, it's not that beautiful, but again, it's not about the way things look, it's about what's inside and the experience, and in this case, whether or not you enjoy it, and I very much enjoyed it. Well, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this sweaty mess of a video. If I could describe summer 2020 in New York City, it would just be sweat. Sweat. Hot, humid, sweat. And I'm like, honestly, like I'm so sweaty right now. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know. Obviously, it's a lot easier to film than the more high production what I eat a day videos. And I don't have to style anything. I could just like throw plants in a bowl and call it a meal. So comment below, subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And also let me know if you are struggling with mask knee right now because... I'm just so frustrated. My skin is not loving it, but we also have to do what we have to do to be safe. So I'm not complaining. I'm complaining a little bit, but I'm still gonna wear a mask. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll see you in another video soon. I hope you're well and safe. Bye.